Welcome everybody to the Backwoods University. Today's uh, class is going to be on uh, setting up a canvas one pole uh, uh, tent. They call it a pyramid tent, I guess. Uh, this particular one was made by a company out of West Virginia, uh, Panther Primitives. I own several of their tents and I'm very pleased with uh, the quality of uh, their tents and their customer service. So uh, today uh, we're going to set this up. It's a pretty simple tent to set up, which is one of the reasons why I uh, I have it. Uh, one man can easily set it up by himself. Okay, that uh, tent has uh, loops for 24 stakes, and you're going to need uh, one pole, about uh, eight foot. 10 inches, maybe 8 foot 11 inches long. And what I've done with this pole is I've uh, carved out a little peg and I'll show you where that fits. There's a block that uh, helps disperse the weight at the peak and uh, this little uh, peg that I carved out goes up into that block. This is the block I'm talking about. Uh, there's several layers of canvas that reinforce it, and then there's a little wooden block, and that peg would fit up in here. It's, uh, like I said, it's a very well-made tent. This uh, particular tent, I installed a, what they call a stove jack. It's a, uh, a fire retardant uh, uh, hole for your stove pipe to go out. Uh, it wasn't too hard sewing. It kind of was a little difficult to <laughs> to get by that first cut in the <laughs> brand new canvas, but uh, I got through that and I sewed it in myself. Not difficult. Uh, I believe uh, the manufacturer will sew one in if you know the location of where you want your stove jack to be. Okay, the first step is uh, <clears throat> you're going to put a... Uh, tent uh, stake in each of the four corners. You're not going to hammer it in all the way. Le leave it a little loose because you're going to have to adjust those. It is. <laughs> There's a little uh, reinforced uh, <coughs> block. You're going to put this up in here. And <laughs> Got the pole up, got the two or the four corners staked. The next step is you're going to go around, put your remaining uh, stakes in. Uh, I know some of you are probably saying, hey, what's a guy hammering with an axe for? Uh, that ain't good. You're not supposed to hammer with an axe. Well, this isn't just any kind of axe. This actually has a hammer on the head of the axe. Uh, actually, it's kind of a neat uh, neat uh, hammer axe tool here. 
It's stamped New York Central Railroad, and I got that from my friend Dave. And it's a handy little uh, tool, so I'm going to put the rest of the stakes in, and then we're just about done. There's a little flap along the bottom edge of the tent that's called a sod cloth. And that needs to be folded out, and that fills in any, any little gaps uh, between the ground and the bottom of the the tent. There's a picture of the stove and the pipe going out through the stove jack. Okay, on, on this particular tent, there's uh, the door ties shut. It's got a little overlapping flap that keeps the the cold air out. Canvas tents will last a lifetime if they're taken uh, care of properly. One of the most important things uh, with a canvas tent is to make sure that it is completely dry before you put it away for storage. If not, uh, the next time you go to use it, it's going to be all moldy and rotted. So make sure that your uh, tent is completely dry before you store it away. I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by the university today. Uh, hopefully this helps if you're interested in uh, maybe purchasing or, or you already have purchased a one pole tent and setting it up. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. I'd like to thank my assistant Michael for filming today. Good job, Michael, nice job. Uh, and I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by the university. Take care till the next class.